Na sanyu kabwe bangambanti Na sanyu kabwe bangambanti Na sanyu kabwe bangambanti Leka tugende monyumba ya Yesu na sanyu ka I was glad when the president said on September 20th that we are going back into the house of the Lord. This is the song, this is the words of David. I have copied them to be my words too. I don't know who told David to go back in the house of the Lord. But for me, I know it was the president who said on September 20th, we are going back in the house of the Lord. And so I'm extremely happy. And that's why in this month, I decided to teach on the subject, the important of the house of God. We started by learning about the temple that's, that uh, Moses built in the desert. Now we are learning of the temple that Solomon built. And for those of you who are joining us today, we are in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 2 from verse 1. We are talking about the building of the temple of Solomon to show you that temples are very very important and essential. I'm going to just read these words because we already covered them already. We stopped on verse number 5. Solomon determined to build a house for the name of the Lord and a house for his kingdom. And Solomon told out three score and ten thousand men to bear burdens and four score thousand to hew in the mountains and three thousand six hundred to oversee them. And Solomon sent to Haram the king of Tyre saying as thou didst deal with David my father and didst send him cedars to build him an house to dwell therein even so deal with me. Behold, I build a house the name of the Lord my God to dedicate it to him and to burn before him sweet incense and for the continuous shoe bread and for the burnt offerings and morning and evening on the Sabbath and on the new moons and on the Solomon feast of the Lord our God. This is an ordinance forever to Israel. So we stopped in verse number five yesterday. And the house which I built is great, for great is our God above all gods. So we are trying to see the importance, the magnificent, and the building of Solomon's temple. We saw that Solomon was building two houses at the same time. He was building the house of the Lord and he was building the house of his palace. So he had a, a distinction between the house of God and his house. Unfortunately, many Christians don't have the difference. They treat their houses as if they are the houses of God. And we saw that he employed seven seven hundred thousand people. 
no musambu mtwalo musambu yes 70000 people as laborers abakozi emitwalo musambu 80000 people as hewers of stones emitwalo munana abasima mayinja and 3600 men as engineers na balabidire nkumi satu mulukaga and he did that work for 46 years omulimo gona kolle miyaka na mukaga the temple of solomon was built in 46 years yekali ya sulemani yazimbi bokumale miyaka na mukaga the reason why i'm sharing these things to you yes ongala shinga bane bintu bino na i want to show you that the church and the house of God is incomparable. There is no construction that can take 46 years. There is no construction that can take 150,000 people as workers and laborers. So we stopped there yesterday. And then verse number 5 says, And the house which I built is great for great is our God above all gods. Nenyumba jenzimba ya chitiwa kubanga ne katonda wafe wa chitiwa kusukuruma bakatonda abalala The house of God Nenyumba ya katonda houses a great god Ebera mo katonda o amanyi Because the great god is housed in the house of God Kuba katonda wa amanyi abera mo nyumba ya katonda That means even the house of God is a great house Chitegeza nenyumba ya katonda nayo nyumba ya chitiwa Is your house also a great house Enyumba yo nayo ya chitiwa Is your radio station also a great station. You cannot compare the house of God with television stations. You cannot compare the house of God with anything. I've been saying this over and over and over again and I'll continue to say it. The house of God is incomparable. So the Bible is saying here The house which I built is great. For great is our God above all gods. Verse number 6. Verse number 6. But who is able to build him an house? Seeing the heaven and the heavens of heavens cannot contain him. Who am I then that I should build him a house save only to burn sacrifice before him sibubani sacrifice to burn sacrifice At the lord is saying i'm so blessed to be given a responsibility to build a house for the lord nzani who am i nzani who am i who am i to build a house for the lord That is in and, the, and the heaven of the heavens cannot contain him and the heaven the heaven of the heavens cannot contain him there is so tasobola kujam now who am i Whom the lord has allowed me solomon to build a house for the lord which cannot even contain a village size it is not even a city size and god who sits in heaven does not fit there how will he dwell here the bible says In Matthew chapter 5 I never swear anything never swear of heaven because that's where the Lord sits never swear of earth because that's where he places his feet. never swear of Jerusalem because that is his city. the Lord sits in heaven his footstool that the, the earth becomes a katebe kebigerebye kunsikwaterezebigerebye ku katebe ensikatebeke uh, the earth is his stool and see the earth okuve south africa from south africa okutuka oslo to oslo okuve sydney to australia from sydney okutuka los angeles mu california to los angeles okuva ku north pole from north pole to ku south pole to the south pole and see the world as you see the world that's where the lord places his feet that's what the bible says now solomon is saying who am i 
Mukamo kunga manti muzimbi le nyumba. The Lord to tell me to build him a house. Ngane muguru. Yet even in heaven. E guru liyama guru. The heaven of heavens. Terijayo. He cannot contain it. And that's why he has said. We are build this house. Not because the Lord can fit in there. But the answer is here. He said who am I then that I should build him an house. Save only to burn sacrifice before him. Agami entinzani okuzimbira mukama enyumba okujjako okola echifu echo kumu teranga ko changa sadaka kulului echo chukula ganti tempo zino mukama azikirizwa zizimbibwe echigenderwa chazo tuokerenga musadaka eri mukama it means that these temples are allowed to be built that we may burn sacrifices to the lord sebo njagalwa myusa akagamba akasebigambe bisamba yobansi save only to burn sacrifices before him akukamuse mshalaka yanje e chikendirwa chokuzimba entebe miracle center cathedral the purpose of building entebe miracle center cathedral siwa kubanti mukama ajamu not because the lord fits there kubanga agambi because he has said Eguru. that the heaven neguru lyama guru and the heavens of heaven terishobola kumutfitinga mu cannot contain him ba mazena agamba and then he said tolairanga guru never swear of heaven kubanga mukama jatuza kabina ke because that's where the lord God places his power. Never command the world. Kubanga amaguru ge akatebe ka kireza nti atula muguru amaguru nateka kunsi. It means he sits in heaven and places his feet on the earth. Amaguru ga akatonda legs gajuzensi. The legs of the Lord fill the whole earth. Ensike katebe kwateka amaguru. The earth is the footstool of his legs. Kati Suleiman una zimba yeka. Now Solomon is building a temple which is not even big uh, big than uh, bigger than a village Aaron Mutebi has built a temple for the Lord which is not even half a kilometer and yet the Lord places why does the Lord command to build a temple the answer is here in already we are building the houses for God not because God can fit there because heavens cannot even contain him but we build them only to burn sacrifice before him. And there are five sacrifices in the New Testament. I hope I can remember them. In the new, there are many sacrifices in the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, there are five sacrifices. One, the sacrifice of prayer. Two, the sacrifice of giving. Three, the sacrifice of our bodies. When you read uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it says that we should offer our bodies a living sacrifice and to the Lord. That is in fasting. So the sacrifice of prayer, the sacrifice of giving, the sacrifice of our bodies, number four is the sacrifice of praise, and number five, I'm forgetting the fifth one. Actually, they are there. Hey, very good. They are here. Thank you very much. There are five sacrifices in the, new, in the Bible. The sacrifice of prayer. The sacrifice of praise. The sacrifice of worship. The sacrifice of giving. And the sacrificing of giving in our bodies. Those are the five sacrifices of the New Testament. In the Old Testament, they were more than that. But Jesus crucified many of them on the cross. He left only five. One, the sacrifice of prayer. Two, the sacrifice of praise. Three, the sacrifice of worship. Four, the sacrifice of giving. Five, the sacrifice of offering our bodies. Now, this is the reason why we build the Lord 
places of worship. Because God cannot fit in this miracle center cathedral. God cannot fit in Nambole Stadium. God cannot fit even in the city of Kampala. He cannot fit anywhere. But the reason why he commands us to be him sanctuary is Solomon is saying who am I that I should build the Lord and house seeing that the heavens and the heavens of heavens cannot contain him why are we building temples men and women Christians believers who have not yet gone back to churches who have not yet gone back to serve the Lord in your local church who are still saying that coronavirus will catch them when they go to church I want you to note this God commanded construction of physical buildings as places of worship so that we may offer sacrifices unto him. And there is nothing God loves like a sacrifice from you. God loves the sacrifices from you. And the only place you can offer the Lord's sacrifices is when you come in his house. And these are the five sacrifices we must offer to the Lord every time we come in the house of the Lord. The sacrifice of prayer. The sacrifice of praise. The sacrifice of worship. The sacrifice of giving. And the sacrifice of offering our bodies. So members of the church Christians if you don't go to church you are cheating yourself and you are missing God. You cannot offer those sacrifices on television. You cannot offer those sacrifices in your house. Solomon is saying I am offering them in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us go back to the scripture. Today, Let us go back to the scripture. So, we are talking about the building of the house of the Lord. And the reason why the houses of God are built. Read these red words. So maybe gambo bino. Save only to burn sacrifice before him. God never said we shall offer sacrifice to him on radio. He has never said it anywhere that we shall offer our sacrifice to him on television. Yes, we can preach there. But preaching is not a sacrifice. Hey, come on man. Put back the sacrifices. The sacrifices of the New Testament. Look there, Mchalakanya. Preaching, is it there? Techiriwa. There is no sacrifice called preaching. And what we do on television is to preach. There is no sacrifice on TV. Which is here. So sacrifices are made in church. On television you go to preach. And preaching is not a sacrifice. So you need to understand. Do not allow the devil to deceive to you that churches are not essential. Do not allow the devil to lie to you that the house of God is not important. Do not allow the devil to keep you stagnant in your house and you are avoiding the house of God. Do not allow the devil to lie to you that the house of God is not important. 
Because the reason why we build the houses of God is because God wants us to offer him sacrifices. That's what Moses, I mean, I mean Solomon is saying in the scripture. Let's the scripture. That's what Solomon is saying. But who is able to build him a house? Seeing the heaven and the heavens of heavens cannot contain him. Who am I then that I should build him a house only to burn sacrifice before him? Churches are built to burn sacrifices to the Lord. Every time we come in the house of God, we have come to burn sacrifices to him. Have you ever been where they are roasting pork? Or chicken? Pork is better. Even when you are driving, you can hear the smell of pork. And you know they are roasting pork. That smell you feel, that's what God calls the sweet savor. Yes. The sweet savor. It is from the house of God that God opens his nostril and noses why to feel the smell and the sweet savor when we are roasted our sacrifices in the house of God. When we come in the house of the Lord, we begin by roasting the sacrifice of worship. And then God open up his noses and begin to fuse the sweet savor. The sweet smell of worship of worship then we go to the next sacrifice we offer the sacrifice of praise as we jump as we shout as we dance as we praise him he begins to receive the sweet savor of the sacrifice of praise and the Bible says when we lift up a sacrifice of praise in the house of God and God smells it in his nostrils the Bible says he comes and dwells among our praises that is done in his house then after the sacrifice of worship and the sacrifice of praise then we go to the sacrifice of our giving oh hallelujah Amen. we bring our sacrifice at the altar and then these young ladies and men begin to to move around with the basket collecting the offering and whatever you are putting in there is a sacrifice of giving when God looks inside the basket and you see what Harriet has put there what Kampala has put there what Pastor Mutab has put there what Richard has put there then he smells. Now mm. mm. He feels the smell now. of the sacrifice of giving. And then he says, Hey, now I'm I'm gonna, gonna shake it. I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna make it run over. I am feeling a sweet savor. Sweet smell of the sacrifice of giving. My children has offered me that sacrifice. Then he shakes. Then he presses.
presses. Then he makes run over. And he commands men from over the world to bring to a bosom because the sacrifice we offered in the house of our Lord. Then after that, we go to the sacrifice of prayer. We begin to pray. We lift up our voices. We say, Yes, Lord. Bless your children. Yes, Lord. Yes, Mukama. Protect our families. Yes, Lord. Those who lost their jobs. Oh, those who lost their jobs take them back those who are retrenched be merciful to them yes lord give us school fees to our children who are going back to school tomorrow bless us lord and when God is in heaven we begin to feel and smell the sweet savor of the prayers which are coming from Entebbe Miracle Center Cathedral and say wow what a savor wow what a smell let me go and help them let me go and help them let me go and bless them let me go and protect them let me go and heal them the reason why church is a built. The reason why temples are built. The reason why synagogues are built. The reason why sanctuaries are built. It's not because it can fit there. God cannot fit in this church. But the reason is already said by Solomon. He has said you cannot be contained in heaven even the heavens of heaven. But this temple are building it only to burn sacrifice before you. That's why we come in the house of our Lord. To burn sacrifice. Sacrifice. The sacrifice of prayer. The sacrifice of praise. The sacrifice of worship. The sacrifice of giving. And the sacrifice of offering our bodies. When you lift your hands like this. Say holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy is the Lord God Almighty, worthy to receive glory, worthy to receive honor, worthy to receive all the praise. When you are doing that, you are offering two sacrifices at the same time. You are offering the sacrifice of worship and you are offering the sacrifice of giving in your body. When you lift up your hands, you are offering that sacrifice. Those things are practically and divinely done done in the house of the Lord. Come on Christians. If you are not yet returned back to your local church. Those in Mitiana. Those in northern Uganda. Those in southern Uganda. In the central region. In the west. In the east. Those in East Africa. Everybody listen to me across the nations of the world. In North America. In Europe. In Australia. In the Middle East. In Africa. 
Africa. Mwa Africa. In the Antarctic. Mwa Antarctic. In the Arctic. Mwa Arctic. In South America. Mwa South America. Wherever you are listening on this platform. On WhatsApp. WhatsApp. On YouTube. On YouTube. On Facebook. On Facebook. On Instagram. On Instagram. On Twitter. On Twitter. On television. On TV. On radio. Wherever you are listening this message from. Yo na jo uliriza kobo baka bodo. Do not allow the devil to lie to you to stay at home. Toganya sitani kuli mba kusigala waka. The reason why churches were built. So that we may go there and offer sacrifices to the Lord. So ulo genda yotu wesada kama. Hey go back back to the house of the Lord and offer sacrifices unto him in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let me read one verse and we stop from here. Let's go to verse number where do we stop? We stopped on which verse? Number six. Yeah. But who is able to build him an house? Seeing the heaven and the heavens of heavens cannot contain him. Who am I then that I should build him an house? Save only to burn sacrifice before him. Let's talk to verse number 7 today. We shall begin from there tomorrow. Send me thou there for a man cunning to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in iron and in purple and crimson and blue and that can skill to grave with the cunning men that are with me in Judah and in Jerusalem whom David my father did provide. So we are building the house of the Lord. I want you to see the materials we are using. Solomon is asking the king of Tyre. 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 Yes. Tulo. Tulo. King of Tyre, Mr. Hiram. He's saying, send me now therefore a man cunning in the work in gold. In other words, he's saying, the materials I'm going to use to build the house of the Lord. One of the materials is gold. How many of you have got golden houses? You cannot compare the house of God with your house. Because we don't have much time. I want to begin from that verse tomorrow. To start from verse number 7. Send me now therefore a man cunning to work in gold. In other words. The house I'm going to build is incomparable. I am not building something normal. One of the materials. Materials I'm going to use is called. So send me a man you know who has a master's degree in civil engineering using gold because I'm going to build the house of the Lord. And one of the materials I'm going to use is gold. Hey, the house of God is superior than your house. The house of God is superior than television. The house of God is superior than radio. Finally, the house of God is incomparable. Go back to church and offer sacrifices to the Lord in church. God bless you all. Amen. Let's give. We normally give online. Those who are staying very far. I have a, a lady in Mbale who is sending us a, a seed almost every month. And we want to thank you, Mama. It's a DPC in Mbale. But he believes. I'm not in Tororo. In Tororo. But he believes. He believes in my message. She believes in what I preach. She says that my message blesses her a lot. So every month he's sending a seed. So please send your seed using 070. 08 086 247 0778 
17-17-17-04. They are both in the names of Entebbe Miracle Center Church. Please send your offering right away. Send your tithes. Send your donations. We are feeding people every Sunday. You can support to send us some money to buy more portion. More rice and more sugar. Father, I pray I bless every giver. Bless every giver, oh God. Help every donor. Open up the windows of heaven to every tither. Bring harvest, so God, to every sower. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Let's meet tomorrow. Lunch hour live.